In non-uniform circular motion, you must know the concept that the velocity is not equal to constant, the speed is not equal to constant, neither angular velocity is constant. And if V be the velocity at any point and if R be the radius, then we must know that here we get V equals to R omega, where omega is the angular velocity. Next, at any instant, suppose at T time, at any instant, we have tangential acceleration as well as tangential tangential acceleration as well as centripetal acceleration let us go with the tangential acceleration here here the tangential acceleration that is at is given by d by dt of v now what is v here we know that v equals to again d by dt of s where s is the arc length that means what we can write here at equals to d by dt square of ds so this is what we say is tangential acceleration hence the tangential force that is ft we can write down here mass into acceleration due to tangential which we can write here m into d by dt of v next we are going here also have centripetal force as well Next, we have centripetal force that is here Fc equals to what we know as we know that mv square by r, which is equals to mr omega square, which we have mr omega square. And here already we have got these all things. So, this is this. Oh, sorry, this is this should be d squared s by dt square. Now, what whole thing is that now we have net force, net force. That is F equals to we have F C plus F T. Now, which is F, therefore F equals to we have root over, we get this F equals to root root over F C square plus F T square. That is F C square plus F T square. From the given diagram, we can see that here tan theta equals to Ft by Fc. Also, uh, centripetal acceleration is given by V square by R, which is equals to centripetal force by M. Hence, net acceleration A is equals to root over square of the centripetal acceleration added to square of the uh, tangential acceleration. Hence, tan theta can also be written as At by Ac respectively. Thank you.